Back in Ephesians, he says his intent, God's intent in doing this and revealing this mystery, his intent was that now through the church, underline that, circle it, highlight it, whatever you do, through the church, through the body of Christ, no longer through the prophets and apostles, but through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities and the heavenly realms. The church is supposed to be, this is, this is what we're supposed to be when we gather. The church is a living testimony of God's purpose. And here's God's purpose, that all humanity be united in him and in his kingdom for Jesus. This is, this is what the church is supposed to show to the world. This is what the church is supposed to testify to the world. This is why the body of Christ exists. We're not here to usher in political change. We're not here to usher in social reform. When the body of Christ is at its best, those things will occur, but that's not why we're here. We're here to be a living testimony to the world, to the people on earth, to every angel in heaven, to every demon that exists, that our God loves us and he is that good. Here's the problem. We can't be a living testimony if we're not willing to testify or share about what God has done for us. We can't be the body of Christ testifying to how good God is if we're not willing to share, here's how good God is. Here's the other problem, several other problems. Um, we have to gather as the church. We can't be a living testimony and the church, the ecclesia, the plurality, if we're not willing to gather. And, and, and not just here, but if you look around the nation and literally around the world, you'll see that the number of people that claim to be Christians staying the same and growing a little bit, but the number of people joining together to gather as the church, the ecclesia, those called into a public assembly, declining drastically. Another problem we have is we don't have to, we have to gather, but we also have to love one another as the church. How many people have heard me say this before? Hopefully every hand is up. Yeah, good. Over and over and over throughout the Bible. So we need to gather as the church to be a witness. We need to love one another as the church. And then we need to tell others about the church. Not about the Sunday celebration, not about our denomination, but about the body of Christ. About what God has done for us about how God has helped us and equipped us. And I get that, again, we, this, is, this is that sharing thing. There are some people who like, I don't like to share anything. I don't like to tell people this. But here, we can't be a living testimony unless you do. Find the medium that works for you and then share what God has done for you. And I also put, um, for those of you that are interested, you don't even have to pay for it. I wrote a book about it. They're on the back table grab one. It's a very short read. I call it a one bathroom break read. You can, one bathroom break, and you can finish this book that will equip you. Here's how I can talk to other people about what God has done for me.